beautiful people ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on stella zone i want to say girl or boy <laughs> i want to welcome you to this amazing channel and if you're also watching me and if not subscribe see natalia is like yeah please hit that red subscribe button so that whenever i upload a video you will be notified thank you for doing that okay and don't forget the bell icon so today my little assistant is here um i might end up putting him on my back so that i can get things going i'm going to be showing you how to make banku gana banku okay i'm trying to speak at that but it's like it's not clicking at this point so mono okay mom is making a video <laughs> So yes, I'm going to show you how to make Ghana Banku easy, simple. Um, if you have the ing the right ingredient, it's quick. Uh, yeah. All right. So come on in. Welcome to my kitchen. It's always fun. Before we get started, I want to walk you through the ingredients that I have. It's all over the place, and then um, I will get started with making the Banku. Okay. All right. So in this state, it is not banku, it is corn and cassava dough, okay? Until the final end product is what we call banku, okay? Maku, maku. All right, so I have a cassava dough here. Remember the homemade cassava dough? If you've not watched that video, it should be somewhere on the screen or go to the YouTube page and check it out. Homemade cassava dough, all right? I have some corn dough and cassava dough here. This is about half a cup of cassava dough in here natanya is being cute and this here is a lot of corn dough i might not end up using the whole thing i'm going to do three cups of corn dough to um two and a half cups of cassava dough if you want your banku chai eh open it china you can do the reverse okay but at the end of the day it's going to be nice so let's just get started let's cook so you cannot achieve your banku without your pot okay you're going to need i have a small size and this big size i'm going to be using this okay and you're going to be using your banku driver okay the bankuta uh-huh this is what controls the um the whole thing the whole shebang and don't forget your salt it is very hard to like over salt like banku so like with what i'm going to be doing i probably will end up adding anywhere from three to four tablespoons of salt to my banku okay so this is it guys so before i start the making of the banku i always like to blend my corn and cassava dough again i always like because i want a really really smooth um texture so i have the half a cup of corn dough and half a cup of cassava dough um, in here. I'm going to be adding a little bit of water and I'm going to blend it. I'm going to do that to the whole thing that I'm going to do, okay? I'm adding some corn dough, okay? I'm adding um, half of the bag that I have in here. So that's all that I'm adding to this. And then the next thing will be, this is the cassava dough. Okay, this is two cups of cassava dough. I'm adding some water and I'm going to blend this. So guys, everything is added in here. The corn dough, the cassava dough. At this time, I'm mixing everything together with my hands to mash out every lump in here, okay? So that is basically what I am doing. I'm going to be adding my salt, okay? I'm telling you, it is very hard to over salt banku. So just, you're like, this is my first time. So if you're making this much, add anywhere three to four tablespoons, okay? Like I said. And at this time, um, the at this point, like the dough is very thick. It's very, very thick. And if you start off this way, it's going to be difficult for you to stay. So I have um, three, I would say about four cups Four, I have about four cups of corn dough and three cups of cassava dough here, okay? So what I'm going to do with four cups of water, so far so good. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some hot water. Alright, so this is over two cups of water, alright? And this is hot water that I'm adding. You don't have to use hot water, I'm just using it 
to sort of aid in the cooking process you know it will help um bring the temperature up okay and then i'm going to be adding another one cup a little over one so this is the consistency you're looking for if you're making this much um quantity all right so the key with banku to get a really nice smooth lump free banku it's going to be determined from the beginning okay you see how it's starting to form you have to stare okay you if you are not staring and it's just forming and it will just going to be lumpy okay by the time you finish bangkwa baba and that way when you're enjoying it when you're eating it it's really not enjoyable because all you have to be doing is picking the lumps um out of the banku instead of enjoying the banku so the key point is in the beginning just stay around move around make sure you're smashing the the lumps against the pot to sort of break it um to sort of break it apart or melt it okay so that is the key uh point oh and also uh you don't if you don't have like the condo and the cassava dough like I, I i showed you in this video uh i have a video up you can make your own or in african stores you can find like frozen banku mix already that is already like made okay uh, and if you make the cassava dough like this condo that i used I've had it since 2017. So I've had it for like three years. I've had this condo um, for like three years. Once you put it in the freezer, it can be there for five years, six years, you know. It just, I'm telling you, when you go to Ghana, make sure you are bringing all these. <laughs> if, you have, if you have the um, space, you know, the space and the time. If you have to make extra luggage, honey, go ahead and make that extra luggage and pay for it, okay? Because you're going to be having food for a very long um, time. So as you can see, the hot water helped to bring the temperature up. And so my banku is really cooking faster. At this point, this is where I wish I had Junior with me. Because he has the muscle to like... <laughs> get this going so guys this is where things are getting really real so as you can see when i started i was mushing against the pot okay at this point if i want to keep doing that it's just going to be difficult so now that everything is like formed i can it will be easier to drive it towards me okay and as you can see it's already cooking you see the cream color right there okay so you go from like white or right to like a cream color right there okay so it's not done yet don't be like oh cream color so no 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 no. everything has to turn to that cream color okay mm -hmm. and make sure that it's not just uh, cleaning the pot like my late grandmother oh man she, she when you're making banku she, she'll tell you my name my you know make sure the pot is clean as you're cooking it so you're always scraping and adding okay so man this is wet <laughs> But this looks good. <laughs> that is like, yeah, I'm going to have banku today. All right, so the banku is looking really, really good. As now, as you guys can see now, it's like really the color is like creamy at this point. Okay, cream color, not creamy. <laughs> it's a cream color. So the next process is the next step. I'm going to be adding one cup of water. All right, to it. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to do the scrape and drop. That's what I call this method. The scrape and drop. It's not easy trying to do a video and then take care of a baby, a toddler. I thought it was like. So see it, make sure you know your spatula is able to reach the bottom of the the pot, okay, to make sure that the water is um everywhere, okay, underneath on the sides. And we're going to let this cook for five minutes and then I'll flip it and then have it cook for another five minutes and then we're good to go. It's been five minutes, so now I'm flipping it over. Okay. Then I'll add a little bit more water. another half a cup and then give it another five minutes okay now we are going to be mixing everything the bangkong is almost almost ready 
It's like five minutes away from being ready. All right, so I'm just going to mix this in. And I started, when I started um, with the soft part, the liquidy part, I was cooking it on high heat. And after it started to form, I lowered the heat. So I was working it from medium heat to low heat. All right. My arms hurt. <laughs> And remember, how soft you want your banku totally depends on you, okay? You can have it softer, not soft, but the thing is because of the um, the heat in it, once I, once like you, you scoop it out or once you serve it, it's going to harden up a bit, okay? Oh, boy. All right, so I'm going to turn the heat off. It's ready. Okay. So I'm going to be scooping it, and you're going to need cold water. Okay. Where it's a little um, scooper. All right. And I have a bowl here. So what I'm going to be doing is push this here. I have my syringe wrap. So I'm just going to line that. In my bowl, sprinkle it with just a little bit of water. All right, and then you scoop the seven sides you want onto your. This time you can also have your spatula. Okay, and then I'm just going to uh, just dress this up, and it's good to go. So this is basically what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna put it, I have a sun kind on the side. So let me show you what I did. Okay, so line it with your syringe wrap, okay? Sprinkle it with a little bit of water. My hand is clean, so. Every time you scoop new batch, just make sure you give it a good stir. Drop it in here, okay? everything up it's going to the bank it's going to go to just one corner okay the the syringe ha wrap has like four corners so you will just drop in that corner and then just twist it around like that and it's good to go so that's basically what i'm going to be doing ladies and gentlemen boys and girls our banku is ready, okay? So I have about eight sevens here and it ranges from large, medium, small, okay? So this is it, this is it here. Nice and soft. And if I make it um, this soft, I don't have to put it in the fridge. I can actually leave it on the counter for like a couple of days, you know? Um, it doesn't have to be refrigerated if you're going to be consuming it within um, a certain of, um, a number of days, okay? Within a couple of days. But if you if it's just you and you're like, Stella, this is so much banku, I'm not going to be able to finish it. Please don't freeze the banku, okay? Because when you freeze it and you, then it's like you have to start all over again, add a little bit of water, like take it out, throw it out, add a little bit of water and make it again on the stove. This can store in the fridge for weeks, okay? Um, I will go... Uh, Maybe my max will be maybe two to three weeks. Okay, banku will not go bad. Just as you have it in this syringe wrap, just get a Ziploc bag and have them cool down, put them in a Ziploc bag and put it towards the back of the fridge where it's cold and it will be um, okay for you to live there for a week, for two. The, the tops um, probably be three weeks. If you make this, I don't think it's going to last three weeks in your house. All right, so the banku is ready. Now you can have this with palm nut soup, peanut butter soup. You can have it with the stew that I made, um, the Ghana stew that you shouldn't forget, that um, egg and peach stew, you can have it with that. You can have some salsa, you know, the grind pepper with some fried fish. Um, you, you can have this with most like, almost like any Ghana stew and any Ghana soup. This will go with uh, whatever you want to have it with, okay? So, all right, let me know what you guys would like, would rather enjoy this banco with. So let me know what you guys think, okay? 
like comment share if you've not subscribed please hit that subscribe button thank you guys for um watching i will see you guys in my next video have a wonderful blessed week bye guys bye, bye.